there's no shortage of theories about what caused the dinosaur's abrupt disappearance 65 million years ago, but new research suggests that it may have been a series of unfortunate events rather than one single cataclysmic event. In this video join us to travel for a moment in time to revisit one of the most mysterious times on planet Earth. This is Interspace. Dinosaurs were not dumb, just unlucky. They were not the only animals to go extinct, many species of plants and animals went extinct at the same time as the dinosaurs. The Earth has had its share of mass extinctions before and since then, but none quite so dramatic as this one. Dinosaurs were among the first animals to go extinct as well. They weren't around long enough for us to notice them going away before others came along and did it for us. The dinosaurs' disappearance opened up new ecological niches. These niches were filled by the first mammals, which were small and could eat plant material. Many of these early mammals went extinct due to climate change, the earth was very warm during this period time, so animals had to adapt or die. The earth's ability to recover from a major catastrophe is one of the reasons life has been able to survive for so long, that's why many different kinds of plants and animals can survive in many different environments, plants and animals can adapt quickly, making it easier for them to survive in new locations or habitats. Plants and animals have evolved into many different species over time due mainly because they have been able to adapt quickly by moving around or adapting themselves through natural selection. The extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs was a time of great change. The landscape, climate, and food supply of Earth changed dramatically. This must have been an incredibly stressful time for animals who were accustomed to interacting with large dinosaurs. Some species were able to adapt to these new conditions, while others went extinct because they could not cope with such drastic changes in their environment. But many more species survived than went extinct, and it's those that made it through this period of turmoil who would give rise to our modern world. These first post-dinosaur lifeforms evolved from creatures that had already begun adapting to the changing world around them. Small mammals like rodents or bats, reptiles like lizards, birds, and amphibians like frogs or salamanders. All these groups are still very much alive today. The mammals had already been around for millions of years. They were small, but they were already present. They did not suddenly appear out of thin air and start running around. The mammals survived because they had many small species that could survive in a variety of environments, so they did not need to compete with each other or fight over resources like plants or water. A new study suggests that the Paleocene-Eocene thermal maximum 2.5 million years after the extinction event was probably responsible for killing off many large mammals and opening up new niches for smaller species to move into. The researchers analyzed carbon isotopes found in tooth enamel to determine whether fossilized teeth belonged to plants or meat eaters. They then compared this data with oxygen isotope ratios in the Earth's atmosphere, which can tell scientists about past climatic conditions, specifically those surrounding fossils found in different parts of North America. They found that during this period time, there was a shift from warm and moist climates toward colder temperatures caused by a lack of rainforest cover across North America's interior due to changing ocean currents caused by rising sea levels following an asteroid strike off Mexico's coast. You can thank mammals for your hair, and you can blame them for the fact that reptiles don't have much. Mammals have a higher metabolic rate than reptiles, so they need to keep their body temperature up. This means that they need food more often, which in turn requires them to be more active and therefore more social. They also tend to give birth to live young rather than laying eggs as reptiles do. This is because having live offspring makes it easier for mothers and babies to keep warm while they're waiting out the long winters of the Cretaceous period. In some ways, the challenges we face today aren't much different from those faced by mammals after the dinosaurs were gone. We're still trying to figure out how to live together and share Earth's limited resources but there are key differences in how we're facing these problems now. We think one of the biggest shifts is that our current situation requires more cooperation than ever before, instead of relying on a single person or group of people to fix things for everyone else, we all have to work together or nothing will get done at all. This means that flexibility and adaptability are more important than ever before, we need to be able to change our minds about what's important, who should do what parts of a project, and how long things should take. The clearest sign of the asteroid's impact and the massive global catastrophe that followed can be found in a single layer of rock, which is known as the KT boundary. The boundary is found in many locations around the world, including Mexico and Italy. In these places, scientists have studied this thin layer of rock by carefully digging down through it to examine different layers beneath. KT refers to a specific period when dinosaurs were present on Earth, the Cretaceous period, and when they disappeared from our planet's surface, the Tertiary period. 
It's an important period time because both events are thought to have been caused by an enormous asteroid strike that took place 66 million years ago at Chicxulub Crater off Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. This huge impact may have happened within minutes or hours after dinosaurs went extinct, but because so much time has elapsed since then, it has been difficult for scientists to determine exactly what happened during this period time. Yet we do know there was some kind of major environmental shift after this point. Earth had become colder and icy conditions spread across North America as well as Europe and Asia. The day the dinosaurs disappeared was likely to have been stormy, and at least some species of dinosaurs likely survived the initial impact, only to perish in subsequent events. One possibility is that these animals were buried in massive volumes of sediment that washed out from nearby rivers and lakes into the ocean. If they died while they were still close enough to the land surface for their bodies to be rapidly covered by debris from their home environments, then their remains would have been preserved under thick layers of mud or sand, and potentially fossilized as a result. The initial impact and subsequent fires would have released a lot of smoke into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun. This would have caused a nuclear winter effect, where the Earth's temperature rapidly cooled in response to a lack of sunlight. This would have made it hard for plants to grow, and animals to get enough food. The dinosaurs were not dumb. They did not go extinct because they couldn't evolve, or weren't smart enough to survive. Dinosaurs are thought to have survived past the initial mass extinction for months or even years, but there was no way for them to recover from the loss of so many fellow species who were both competitors and prey. The same goes for other groups of animals, some mammals survived, and countless insects and plants lived on after the initial event, but none of them could make it back from that precipice without help from outside sources, and those sources weren't around anymore either. The fact that birds were the only dinosaurs to survive the catastrophe and are still around today is not surprising. Birds are descended from small feathered dinosaurs, and it seems plausible to think that they were able to adapt to an environment free of large predators with their superior flight abilities, egg-laying habits, and feathers. The dinosaurs were quite intelligent and had a complex social structure. Their extinction was likely caused by a series of unfortunate events that could have happened to any organism. The climate changed, their food source dwindled and they lost their natural habitat. We can't be sure exactly what happened to the dinosaurs, but we do know that they were not extinguished by some inherent weakness or lack of adaptability. The truth is, they were victims of a series of unfortunate events that occurred in close succession at a time when they were already struggling to survive. It makes sense that mammals would have been able to emerge as the dominant species after this period because they had already proven themselves capable of adapting quickly and surviving under harsh conditions. Many aspects of human life today are still influenced by those early evolutionary adaptations from our teeth, which are similar in structure and function, down to our DNA, which contains remnant pieces from ancient organisms. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and let us know what you thought about the extinction of the dinosaurs in the comment box. This was Interspace, see you in the next video.